Hey guys, it's Legacy. And although most of you think I am the king and the creator of Legacy, that is very far from the truth. I am nothing but a fan that makes YouTube videos. And in today's video, I'm going to be listing the top five things I want to see in Legacy Squad. Now, I'm just going to say this right now because some of you think I am the creator. Uh, none of these are confirmed. These are simply just wish lists and, you know, I think would be like the perfect Legacy Squad in my opinion, but honestly most of these things are probably not going to come to the game and you know It's just wishful thinking and with that Let's start with number five Number five is free roam flying now This is the lowest on the list simply because of how unlikely this is to happen It would be overly complicated just to have really a niche feature uh, as I think most of us know, the open world isn't going to be massive and I'm pretty sure the flying in the game is going to be the same with the hotspots and that. Now, but free one flying would be nice, you know, it would get us around quicker and it would allow us to explore the world a lot quicker. But like I've said before, this would require an excessive amount of time just to add this in the game. Not only that, it, it, you'd pretty much have to change the map simply for it. So that's why it's number five. Number four has to be raids. The reason this is so low down on the list is because of how unlikely it's going to be. I've played a lot of games where end games have got raids, such as like Destiny and WoW, and most MMOs have raids because they are the end game content. Now, I would really like to see this. However, raids take a lot of time because they normally have complex mechanics and there's normally like a new area with a ton of new bosses. Um, and I think that's really unlikely, although I do think there's going to be some similar endgame content in terms of like bosses, like really hard bosses. I do not think they're going to be on the same capacity as something like raids will. However, I would love to see like maybe a House of M raid, Marvel Zombies, you know, uh, like Cancer World. You know, there's so many possibilities you could go with raids, but of how likely it's going to be, and this being a fan project, this is going to go down on number four. Now, number three for me is going to have to be, well, public servers. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, what? Public servers aren't going to be in Legacy Squad? Yes, they can be a p Legacy Squad if we just get enough money on the Patreon. Now, I do not really expect this to happen because it might cost a lot, and servers do cost a lot. And that's the really tragic part. However, I do feel it will be very cool to have public servers. I mean, with PvP being in the game and the game having like team based features and it's going to be very team oriented. Um, you know, it's really good to have public servers. Now, that's not to say you can't play online. Yes, like I've said many times before, it's pretty much going to be you have your own server and you can invite up to like seven people, which is all good and all. But like, come on, a big, massive open world with just people just running around would be really cool. Now, like I said, this is possible. We just need more people on Patreon. Obviously, that's up to you guys. However, it would be nice to see as, you know, this is gonna kind of be like a big online world, so why not just have more people, you know? Now for number two, I'm gonna have to go with Hub World. Now, I know in the original, pretty much Villainville, Asgard, Baxter and Daily were all used as hubs. But now that Legacy Squad is combining pretty much most of them, making them into a big open world, are we gonna have hubs? And I'm hoping we do, because imagine that, we have headquarters and stuff like that that we can transform into little mini areas. For example, I think Tony Stark Tower would be one of the coolest places to meet up in. Not only that, I like, imagine, you know, a shield base using the prison extension we used to have in the headquarters, where, you know, we could meet villains that we previously beard. I think that's a cool idea, and I think a lot of you could agree. And if the servers do become a thing, I think these hub worlds will probably become most of the populated areas simply because, you know, they're mini areas and they're easy to meet up in. It's a small and nice feature and that's why it's going at number two. Now, number one, my dream thing to come to the game. It's got to be extensions to the open world and maybe new open world areas. I know that we're probably going to get a pretty 
big open world on launch that's going to be, you know, good enough. What happens, you know, maybe later on, maybe Legacy Squad gets bigger, you know. If we keep updating, maybe we could have new areas, like, think about it. Superhero City is such a vague thing, you can literally add anything to it. I'm pretty sure Villainville might not be on launch, but what happens if we make Villainville, you know, an underground area that you can explore? And not only that, I know this is very unlikely, but maybe something like Wakanda. Wakanda would be really cool to see in that. And, you know, maybe a Hank Pym, you know, science lab, maybe an Avengers Tower. And that's not even, like, the brink of explored areas that could be possible. I mean, think about it. We could have different universes to explore. I mean, you know, the Marvel space area is such a massive place. I mean, we could explore things like Clintar or Battle World, especially Battle World. That would be a really great place. But honestly, you know... I do not expect any of these things and I think it's safe to say that you know it's really unfair if we go in a legacy squad expecting these things because we all got to remember this is a fan game and there is literally no money going into this except Patreon so if you do want to see you know future support for legacy squad and you know maybe some of these features even your features maybe to be in the game got to remember Patreon is there for that and not only that um thank you guys for watching i'm sorry that i'm not the most active youtuber i do plan on finishing some videos i've started in the past and i'm willing to finish them because i have so many of these videos i've planned and this is only one of them so i'm going to be finishing off a lot of them simply because i feel like i've gained my motivation back to continue with youtube and i'm really happy that I have a fan base and I love you guys so much. I'm I'm so glad I'm in this position to just be creating legacy content for you guys, even if it's not news or it's just speculation lists like these. I'm glad you guys are watching and I love you all if especially if you've made this far. Remember to like and subscribe and I'm Legacy and I'll see you in the next video. Feel